I hope I don't get in trouble doing this, but it says it's waterproof. Now I'm just gonna make sure it's perfectly sealed. Oh snap, folks, here we go. What's cracking, everybody? It's your boy, Andy Barrar, Handy Andy, from handyandymedia.com. Today we're doing a review of a portable Bluetooth speaker. This bad boy right here, it's from Anchor. This is the Soundcore Flare 2. Now, in this review of the Anchor Soundcore Flare 2, I'm gonna look at the design of it. We'll talk about some of the characteristics and features that really separate it from the competition. And then finally, I'm gonna give you my thoughts on using it, what I think of it as a Bluetooth speaker, and if it's right for you. So sit back, relax, get your popcorn ready, and cue the intro. Let's start with the design. Now, just by looking at the Anchor Soundcore Flare 2, you can tell it's a cylinder shape, kind of like the, the size of a tall can of beer. It's super portable, only weighs 1.29 pounds. Now, what's really interesting about this design is that it has the IPX7 water-resistant ra rating, meaning it can be submerged in one meter of water for 30 minutes. That's right, this thing can fall into a pool. Say you're having a pool party and someone kicks it in, it can fall, you can grab it out of the pool, and it's okay, it's gonna work. In fact, folks, if you stay tuned, we're gonna actually test that out by submerging it in water. But let me finish off with the design because that's important because the design elements have to reflect that ability to withstand water submersion. And you can see it on the back here. You have this flap that is rubber and it fits completely nice and tight. But when you open it up, you're gonna find the USB-C adapter and that's the port where you would charge it. Has about 12 hours of battery life. It's about 5,400 milliamp hour uh, battery inside here. So that's quite a bit of time for a Bluetooth speaker, especially of this size. On the very top is where you're gonna get your touch controls, everything from power, volume. You also have a light show button, which we'll talk a little bit about in a bit, and also a multifunction button right in the middle. The multifunction button can use to play and stop music. It's also a speaker phone, so if someone calls you, you can take that call and end that call by pressing the multifunction button. So overall, quite a very simple design of the speaker. And even on the bottom, you'll notice that there's a rubber surface and that prevents it from vibrating from when it's playing music. And that was a issue that early Bluetooth speakers would have. You know, when you have a lot of bass, you get a lot of vibrations and thankfully this one's not going to move around. Another interesting feature of this is this bass up button. Literally, that's what they call it, bass up. I don't think I really need to explain what bass up does, but uh, if you don't figure it out, it does increase the bass and you can toggle that on and off on the back here. Now, one of the best features and the one that I was really excited about, about the Soundcore Flare 2 Bluetooth speaker was this technology that Anchor has called PartyCast. PartyCast allows you to sync multiple Bluetooth speakers together and play music all at the same time. Not only that, you change the volume of all the speakers all at the same time, and even the lights are coordinated from all the Bluetooth speakers. The way it works is, say you have your smartphone, you would have a primary device, say this Flare 2 would be my primary device. Now, if I had other Flare 2 devices, I could then, using the Bluetooth button, pressing that, holding it for a couple of seconds, pair those other Bluetooth speakers to this one. Now, this one is connected to my smartphone, and we'll talk a little bit about the Soundcore app in a bit, but basically, from the Soundcore app, I would be able to play music and change the lights on all of those speakers. Yo, think about having a party and you got Bluetooth speakers all around your place, all with lights and coordination and music. That's like impromptu club anywhere. It could be in your backyard. It could be, it could even be in your bedroom. You know, you got the missus over, you want to put a little berry white on, get, get some funky lights on, set the mood if you know what I'm talking about. You can do it with the speaker. That's all I'm saying. If you get a little creative, you know what I'm saying? I digress. Anyways, so the speaker actually has a lot of uh, 
different types of use cases, whether it's indoors, say you just listen to your favorite podcast while you're taking a shower. If you guys don't listen or use a Bluetooth speaker in the bathroom, you're missing out, man. If you're going to take a shower, throw this in. Heck, you could throw this in the shower. It's IPX7 water resistance rating. And you can listen to your music, your podcast, learn something while you're taking a shower. That's a great use. Or, of course, you could use this outdoors as well. So a lot of versatility in how you would use this. Let's talk about the sound quality. The sound quality is actually very comparable to other Bluetooth speakers on the market at this size. If you're like an audiophile, you're probably not going to do something that has a bass up button. But for the majority of pop music, I think this is going to suit a lot of people just fine. In fact, even podcasts, you know, you can change. And we'll talk a little about that when I look open the app. But you can change the sound and EQ profile. So it doesn't matter if you have spoken word or just heavy 808 bass. My friends, you're going to be able to set that EQ and sound profile that you want and get the most out of the speaker. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the app that works with it because the Soundcore app gives you a lot of different flexibility. So, let me just go ahead and open the app and then I can show you what it's all about. Now, inside the Soundcore app, you can have a variety of different types of Anchor products. By here, I have the Flare 2. Let's just go to the Equalizer and you can see that they have these presets for Equalize. You have the extra bass, on the top there, that toggle, that's pretty much your bass up button, but you can use it in the app. Of course, you have default, voice, chill, flat, and custom. Custom is very interesting because you can create your own EQ. This is great for any of those audiophiles out there who really like a certain type of sound profile. Maybe there's certain type of frequencies you want to accentuate. Maybe you're listening to music that uh, you really know that has a, a, a better frequency response. If you just put a little bit up, make it brighter, or add a little more bass, you can do that with your custom settings. Now, if I go back to the home screen, you have also light effects. And these are the different types of lights that you have. You have phasing beats, bouncing beats, circle beats. And just by pressing it, you can see on the speaker, as I press it, the lights are changing. Now, the other way that you can do it is by pressing the light show button on top. And to be honest, for most people, I think this is just fine. Actually, something I didn't realize, as I'm changing the light profile on here, it's switching on the app at the same time. So that's a pretty cool feature. <laughs> now, here's something that I wasn't expecting in the app. It's called Who's Next? And I was like, what is this? And it says, it lets Flair choose the next player. Here's the thing. What, what What is this for? Like, they didn't say what this feature is for. They just throw this in. So, I'll, look, I'll just press start. Who's next? Look, it's got epic music. And then it picks, like, a color. And that's supposed to be the next person. <laughs> Anchor. Yo, do us a favor. If you're going to put a feature in the app, let us know. why. What is this feature for? I'm... So, so very confused. However, it kind of reminds me like spin the bottle. I guess if you had everyone sitting around here, you could play this game called Who's Next. Kind of a weird feature if you ask me. So all in all, in the app, you also have the ability to get messages. I'm not sure what kind of messages you would get. You can adjust the volume. And, oh, look, all these different types of series. But I'm going to go back to my devices. And... Here's another interesting thing that I wasn't expecting. They actually have built-in songs. There is this like music platform called LUM, L-U-M. And this is for like independent artists. And you could actually go in here and find and set up an account for your LUM. Heck, if you're a music creator, you could take your music, as it says, to the next LUM by signing up to there. So if you want to listen to free music, all I'm saying is in the Soundcore app, you can do that. Speaking of music, I would be remiss if I didn't play something. So the issue with this is that YouTube always catches your copyright music. So it's like, what am I supposed to do? But here's a fun fact. If you guys didn't know, I produced music for years. In fact, that's how I got into technology was my love of music and music production. So I got a whole catalog of tracks and I'm going to play one of my favorite. 
you might recognize it. You probably didn't know that your boy wrote this song. So let's go ahead and play it so you could hear the quality of the speaker. Well, that kind of sounds familiar. What, it, what, what, what is this? I kind of recognize it. There's a little bit of an intro and here we go. That's right, folks. The Handy Andy theme song was written by who else? Handy Andy. Check this out. They even sampled video games here. So there you go. If you didn't know anything, now you know that the Handy Andy theme song was, of course, written by your boy, Handy Andy. So overall, what do I think about the speaker? Well... To be frank, it is super versatile. This form factor, pretty much everyone needs a Bluetooth speaker. And at this form factor, I think you'd be hard pressed to be disappointed by something like this. Like the lights, of course, I would always like more LED lights if you know me. I like the fact that you can change the lights right on top of the speaker, that you don't have to use the app. It's nice that it does have an app, but you don't really have to use it. You have the ability to adjust your EQs, audio files, you guys will like that. It does have decent bass, especially with the bass up. So overall, it is actually a really, really good speaker. The one thing that I would have changed if I was uh, Charles in charge in designing the speaker was to have some type of hook on the bottom so you could hang these. Because if you had multiple of these party cast speakers, boy, that would be awesome. Speaking of party cast, this is the one feature I wanted to try and the one feature I couldn't try because they only sent me one speaker. However, I did have this other anchor speaker. This is another review you can check on my channel. The Rave Neo also has party cast. I tried to cast these two together. It didn't work. I don't know if you can party cast multiple different anchor speakers or maybe some and not others. But if you know, please let me know in the comments below. Anchor, if you're watching this, holler at me, Andy at handyandymedia.com. I want to try this party cast feature. I need to know how far the range is. I have so many freaking questions. Yo, we got to get to the bottom of this. But overall, I got to say, I really like this speaker. I highly recommend it. I'm going to give it the handy Andy stamp of approval because I like the lights. What can I say? It's a nice form factor, decent speaker all around with good battery life, and it's waterproof. Speaking of which, you know I have to end off with something crazy. Look at this. I brought some water. Now, I wonder if we could play music and drop it in water. Should we try it out? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I hope I don't get in trouble doing this. But it says it's waterproof. Now, I'm just going to make sure it's perfectly sealed. Oh, snap, folks. Here we go. Whoa. Whoa. The bass is making the water go up and down. I don't know if you could hear that. <laughs> Holy cow, that's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna have to put this on the ground. Well, I sure hope that is waterproof, folks, because if it isn't, that speaker is not going to work. Anyways, <laughs> it's all wet. All right, I'll, maybe I'll put this on the ground. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review of the Anchor Soundcore Flare 2 Portable Bluetooth Speaker. If you like this video, and I hope you do because I just dropped this in water. If you like this video, smash that like button. Leave your comments below. I answer every single comment. So you make something, I'm going to answer it. Hey, maybe you want to know if this speaker survives. I should probably put a blow dryer on this and dry it up. But if you want to know if this speaker survives this little water test, you can let me know in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Once again, folks, my name is Andy once again, folks, my name is Handy Andy. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can find more information about me on my website, handyandymedia.com. Andy Barrar, Handy Andy, signing out. See you again next time.